before starting hi welcome back to my channel or hello for the first time you are really going to see me in a new light this is going to be a very vulnerable video if you clicked on it i'm sure you can read the title this is going to be my accutane journey and i was on accutane for one year if you know anything about accutane we're going to get into some more details about it but it's usually a six month treatment that was doubled for me it was a full year and we're going to get into that and why and how all of the good stuff and right off the bat i also want to say there is going to be images throughout this video and also video clips of my progress and if you're kind of squeamish to acne or anything like that because it is kind of gross it's very raw and this is going to be a very vulnerable video i really never thought i would see the day where i'm out here showing literally the rawest images of me like it's just kind of different to put that out there i'm going to tell you everything you need to know about accutane because i feel like i'm a pro at it at this point and i know every little detail about accutane i was on it for so long and it was not a regular treatment the entire time i was there even my doctors were like you are a special patient throughout the entire process i documented everything i wrote down how i was feeling each week took videos and pictures you might see my skin and not think this it's perfect you know what to me this is very much a step up and you will see that and this lighting isn't helping actually at all i'm gonna start off with my acne story kind of before i got on accutane and how i led up to that point growing up never had pimples maybe one or two it wasn't really anything detrimental to me really nothing that held me back and i makeup wise never wore foundation concealer if i had a spot i would cover it up but mostly i would just like wear powder mascara and call it a day and that's just how it was for me so i never really understood the true struggle of acne you know i feel like once you get one or two it does do something to yourself i feel like i was just like oh my god being in high school and middle school i feel like personally for me it was always this comparison and i feel like i was trying to figure out who i was on top of comparing myself to people that i saw on social media or the people in my school once I would get one or two, like I brought it up to my doctor. She put me on a topical, Adapalene, and it helps you with acne, evening it all out. And that did work for a while there. And then your skin can get used to products. So I started to not really see much of a difference. Once I went to college, during that time, I did start to see like one or two more. Still nothing too crazy, but to me, it felt like the end of the world because growing up again, never had pimples. So once you're starting to see like one or two there, you're like, oh my God, like I didn't know how to deal with it. So then I started going on doxycycline, which is a small pill. It again, started to work for me, but then effects it was kind Kind of having on my body like i wasn't really with that and my final straw was when i had it i was driving to school so picture me driving in a car i sneeze all of the powder pops up my throat in my nose it was burning so bad like the pain w i will never forget that day and i stopped on that and then i started a new topical i think i might have tried another medicine like i've literally tried everything under the sun once i was at drexel for probably like two years i started to get worse acne i started to go to the dermatologist i really was pushing for accutane my sister was on it and she had flawless skin the majority of my friends that i know have been on accutane and they are the people with the most flawless skin i've ever seen in my life i really just was set on the mindset of i I want to be on Accutane. Not really kind of looking into more things about what it could do to me personally. Set on the mindset of I want clear skin. As I feel like most people who struggle with acne feel. Before being approved for Accutane, they kind of were pushing me towards the direction of, well, let's try some birth control first. Let's try, it was like a water pill. I was not with that. Genuinely for me, I knew I wasn't going to be able to handle the side effects of that. Looking back on it though, like the side effects of Accutane, I can handle anything. I just decided it wasn't for me. Thing is, is like, I'm not really a big medicine person. I don't take Advil, don't take time. And all. If I'm in pain and ask any of my friends or family, I will just suffer through it. I will not put anything in my body if I don't feel like it needs to be there. Very like, I don't want it inside of me. I finally put my foot down and I went in the one day and was like, I want to go on Accutane. I want to have clear skin. I'm sick of dealing with it. And then he was finally like, yeah, okay, we'll start you on Accutane. We're going to start you on a lower dosage because of your weight. They do put you on the medication based on your weight, but we're going to get into more of that later because... The pill can mess you up. I want to talk about what Accutane is and the effects. It is a well-known pill that you take. Body acne, your face acne, and it's just supposed to be that magic pill. But at the same time, it's a very strong pill. There's side effects. The list is endless, really, and it can affect you and your body for after the time that you're even on it. I didn't care. I was like, I want to be on it. They also had to put me on birth control because they really, again, it's that high pressure of do not get pregnant. For me, I knew that was not a possibility. I was like, there's literally no way I'm gonna get pregnant. Who? By who? You also have to do an eye pledge. It's like you go on, your doctor like fills out the questions and you have to match their questions and you have to get all the questions right in order for your prescription to be sent to your pharmacy. And you also have to give blood. I knew people who got it every single month. I did in the beginning get it like regularly, but then it just kind of started to be like, okay, we'll do a check in here and there. I think it is because my length got to be so long that it was just kind of like, you're doing fine. I really recommend if you want to go on Accutane, 
do your research it might not be for you you know something that works for me might not work for you something that works for you might not work for me skincare is very a personal thing i didn't care about skincare i was kind of forced to care but beforehand i never even wore sunscreen to think that i never did that it i'm like who was that person i was the type of person who never got sunburned all of my friends even like when we would go to the pool together they're like holy crap like we've been outside for five minutes and you were literally bronze in my head it wasn't sunscreen is for skincare sunscreen is for preventing wrinkles it was sunscreen just is for burning my skincare routine really was just me putting on a topical washing my face Once I started Accutane, it was like the beginning of the pandemic So then things started to hit the fan and I couldn't go into the dermatologist I had to start doing virtual also when I would go to the dermatologist if you know anything about a dermatologist It's very hard to get in and I completely acknowledge the privilege I had in being able to go to a dermatologist Not everyone can afford it. Not everyone has the resources for it Not everyone can even get in because a lot of the times the wait to get a dermatologist is so so long but i was kind of going back and forth with doctors and it would be like well this doctor is available today so you'll get this doctor rather than this is your doctor who's going to specialize in helping your skin and helping you and knowing your progress and journey until later on top of having the stresses of just the accutane and the stresses of the pandemic i threw them all together and it was just one big emotional roller coaster this is my skin today it's kind of like flaring again it's like scabs and and I'm honestly getting frustrated. On one end, I'm glad I'm doing this during quarantine so no one can see me. But it's also very frustrating because literally yesterday they canceled my follow-up appointment that's next week where I get more medication. And I literally am out of it today. Like, I don't want to cry. Having this type of skin is so f***ing frustrating. And like, I don't want to come off like this is like a first world f***ing issue. It's psychologically you up because you feel so ugly so they canceled my appointment and then they're like oh you can do it over the phone and i was like well how am i supposed to give like do the pregnancy test you have to do one like even though there's literally no way for me to get pregnant they don't care like they have to so he was like oh like you go to the store and you buy one i literally like have no money so then like adding that on top of it as if the medication is not already expensive i don't want to go out i don't want to go to the store and put myself at risk being alone i see the people here i see how they just hang out on the side of the street acting like nothing is wrong and it frustrates me i see people hanging out and it frustrates me because like they're not taking it seriously and then i have to go out and put myself at risk because of selfish people oh my god it's just so frustrating i don't want to cry this sounds so stupid like people are dying i'm just sick of it i'm sick of looking at mirror and hating it. I am an emotional person. I do kind of put up a front. I feel like my friends are probably like, girl, you cry left and right. And even you guys, you see me cry on here. But overall, I hide my emotions. Nobody really knows like my full story. I don't like to be that way. I don't like to tell people things. But I was highly emotional. Accutane, pandemic, my general mental health. When you're on the virtual thing, you can't really see me. You can't see my skin. We are on a webcam. You don't even know me. Like this is just a doctor who's like, okay, yeah, it was just like base level. And it was getting frustrating because at that point too is when my skin was the worst until things started opening up again and I could actually go in. I then found my doctor, Lindsay. I knew the second I walked in there and she complimented my One Direction shirt, this woman knew what she was talking about. But it's like, again, the privilege, it's such a tricky thing because it's like at that point too, it's just like if you can get a doctor at the dermatologist, I feel like anyone will just like fling for that because it is so hard to get in. Doctors should care. I'm paying you so much money. I have so many medical bills right now. Being able to find a doctor who really cared made it worth it. Took the time, she really saw what was going on and she brought in specialists. One of the doctors, the main doctors at the place actually helped research Accutane once it was first starting up. Like he literally helped develop Accutane Accutane. So that was awesome to be able to get that insight. And he told me, he's like, again, going back to the weight thing, he's like, no, we're going to boost you up to a higher dosage. You can go up super high. He said they used to triple on people's doses depending on their weight. It doesn't really matter. She's like, let's try this topical. Let's try this. Really hearing me out. And they actually ended up calling in one of the top specialists for Accutane. I don't remember the exact title, but like one of the top people who study Accutane. And they sent her my pictures of my face. I don't even want to know what those look like. She gave me advice as well and was like, yeah, we can up her dosage. At the end of the day, you need to listen to your doctor. But I would kind of go back and forth with them and try to figure out what's best for you. So I just kind of want to go over that. my feelings throughout the Accutane journey. It definitely put a toll on my mental health. I can tell you that much. It was a struggle. And one of my things is I have 
obsessive compulsive disorder. I was diagnosed with that and was in high school, so I, it was a while ago. I kind of looked into it as well, and, and skin picking is a part of OCD for some people, and that just happened to me, me, and that's always been me. It's like if I had one zip, squeeze, 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 I'll scratch, I will freaking like pick at it until it's off of my face because the obsessive compulsive disorder in me is like, that's not right, that's not right. But not everyone with obsessive compulsive disorder might have that. It's literally different for everybody. Picking my skin and just obsessing over my looks, obsessing. I'm taking pictures left, right, and center, like obsessing over it. I gotta take pictures here, here, here. My Snapchat, literally like eyes only. You know, some people are like, I got nudes in there. Mine are just my skincare. I would be hanging out with my friends and I'd be in the back of the car taking photos of myself, staring at myself in the mirror. Couldn't wrap my brain around it. And then going back to, I never had acne before and now this is my face, feeling like I'm under a mask. I didn't feel like I was myself. So I just wanted to get on here and kind of like discuss how I'm feeling about my journey so far. I feel like nothing has improved. I've seen no form of improvement. There's some days where I'm like, oh my god, finally it's stopping. And then this happens, it purges yet again. I just feel like I'm living behind a screen, a mask. I've never had to go through this before. I've never had acne like this before. Even before Accutane, like it's never been this bad. And sometimes it's just like hard to trust the process when I look in the mirror and I see this, feel this, because it hurts. Tomorrow is my birthday and it's just kind of like, I don't even want to go. Like I don't even want to be seen like this. I don't even want to put makeup on over it it's hindering the things i do i don't want to make youtube videos because i'm like i don't even want to have people see me like this i don't want to put makeup over it because then it's just like hurts and it's scabby and gross it doesn't look smooth it, you can tell it's cakey i don't want to go out which I, I can't even go out but like you know what i mean i don't want to do anything like i don't want anyone to see me i don't want my friends to see me like this i don't want my family to see me like it's gross i'm embarrassed it sucks ass like i literally don't even know what to do about it there's nothing i can do about it and the fact that like my next appointment it's gonna be like for my four months and this is like what i'm dealing with right now my doctor the one time was like oh at three months you should be 50 percent of the way if this is 50 percent of the way like i'm suing like it's bad this is like way worse than it, i've ever had it like, trust the process trust the process well it's hard when it's like this is what my skin looks like i feel like people don't look at me they look at my skin i don't even want to like be myself because i'm just like i can't i feel like i cannot be my full poten potential it hurts there's no improvement dosage is so low because of my weight and it's like i wish i could go up more maybe that's a problem like i feel like my body at this point is just like used to it so ugly it sucks when you hear people be like oh i have a zit there are so many people who are like would be like to me i have my god i have one pimple and i'm like what do you think of me i had i'm just like oh my god like they must think i'm so ugly I would look at myself and be like you're worthless i would look in the mirror and cry to myself I would look in the mirror and be like you are so ugly even if you watch some of my older videos i feel like i self-deprecate a lot i've always been that way though I tried to start making notes to myself being like you can't say that hiding behind humor and hiding behind me just laughing off being like oh my god i look so ugly right now because i wanted to say it before anybody else did in the comments especially these people who have such great skin i would compare myself to them all the time my closest friends we would be sitting in a room and i would just be thinking oh my god they're all looking at my face and that might not even be true you know, I think it's so hard to wrap your head around that once you're in the moment. And I think anyone who struggles understands what I'm saying. I just felt like nobody saw me as a person and I got to dark places. I'm not going to necessarily say it was just because of the Accutane in my skin. I mean, I have mental health issues as it is. But then like throwing in another boost of like why I'm not confident just didn't help. You have mental health issues and you are thinking about going on Accutane. That is something you need to consider. Even standing Justin, you know how many people have made comments about his skin. And I remember before Justin found out his diagnosis, even people around me were like, oh my God, he's so dirty he needs to shower like look at his skin and i'm like it's not something you can help not that i'm dirty it's something within me it's internal i kind of want to get into now the notes of what i would write i knew my skin gets dry that is a top effect chapped lips that like you've never seen before never had to struggle with chapped lips globs of moisturized globs of aquaphor you kind of like prevent it but that really didn't do anything in the first few weeks i did notice some purging here and there and i did notice my skin becoming drier it was my lips though my lips are so f***ing chapped do you see that Ugh hurts i apply aquaphor every five seconds that is so gross you see all that i took out my top retainer but i might still have a list because the bottom one's in i'm just too lazy okay i just wanted to do a little bit of an update because basically my lips are so chapped you just saw my other clip i just filmed before my shower then i got out of my shower and it was like literally like ripped in half but i put on like a huge glob of aquaphor i feel like my lips have been getting drier and i could feel it getting drier but all of a sudden today all hit at once it hurt i tried to like do a little bit of a scrub on it but it literally made it worse was one chapstick that i highly suggest i ended up not repurchasing it because i got lazy when i had it i kid you not this was like the height of it too when my lips were 
bleed it. So chapped. I applied it once. I kid you not. And my lips were not chapped anymore. And my lips aren't as chapped now that I've been off for a month. I did start to get some here. I never had a single pimple on this side of my face until Accutane. I started to think it started to get better. There would be moments where it would you know, start to kind of clear a little bit. And I was like, oh my God, like it's finally starting. It just got worse after that. I would try to exfoliate it. But like looking back, that's not really smart. When you have like cut up skin like that, you shouldn't be adding another irritant. The moment I was just like, get this off of my skin the acne would hurt not only is it hurting me mentally it's hurting me physically even before my accutane like my skin wasn't like that maybe consider skincare first because like i said before i was not into skincare would i have needed to go on accutane like i feel like at some point though it is an internal issue and you have to deal with it internally rather than just like on the outside you need to sit down and consider and play out week 11 the bloody nose is started i haven't had a bloody nose in years once the bloody nose is started i knew i was in full throttle it would it only be in the morning too when i would be washing my face and i think that the pressure of you know rubbing in my skin water and just like waking up all the dryness like it would just flow i know some people will put aquaphor or vaseline on a q-tip and put it up their nose to kind of put moisture you know my skin started to get scabby picking wasn't helping it it just felt like i had a mask on i didn't feel like i was myself i love making youtube videos this is what i've done for 14 years I only had this channel for a little but i've been making youtube videos since 2007 this is just what i like to do for fun i don't care if i get one view 100 views like, i didn't even want to do that i didn't want to turn on the camera and look at myself have people perceive me I actually opened up my webcam and I like scrolled back. Oh my god. I was like, whoa, who is that? Week 18, I was getting five to six new pimples a day all over. It was not good. On top of the Accutane, I also was taking a steroid. 40 milligrams of a steroid and 30 milligrams of Accutane. It did start to clear up a bit. Then it got back to worse. It just like really went back. So then on 10, 13, 20, I started a topical treatment and I started the Trentinoyan. Don't know if I pronounced that correctly. Do still use that. And now that I'm off of it, she prescribed me a high higher dosage just to help with the discoloration and the scarring she told me in six months all of this will be gone do it every other few nights because it does dry your skin out even you can kind of like see i had a huge dry patch right here like i'll use it and then like the next day my skin is really dry it wipes a lot out of you just go with the flow and see what works for you it was getting to be several months down the line i'm looking in the mirror like month five i'm like well why is my skin not clear yet it's only supposed to only be a six month treatment she's like you know we're gonna probably go over six months it happens we'll do go longer but i don't think i've ever heard of anyone going a full year I'm sure I'm not the only one in the world. I look back even a few weeks ago and I'm like, oh my God, like I see so much more improvement. Month 11 or 12 is when I was like, wow, like I'm really starting to see some type of difference. And even if it's not perfect to me, like comparing it to before, again, why I think you should document everything because you can like look back and like see what my skin truly was like. I'm like, holy crap, I feel brand new. It's all personal because I look at people with acne. You're gorgeous. Like what, why do you feel that way? I feel like once you're looking at yourself in the mirror, you just see every little flaw. There was a point too where my skin was so bad filters didn't even cover it i did not want to take pictures of myself i hated when people took pictures of me from where i was to now this is worldly different it was a little bit frightening to me to see you know like some discoloration and marks that especially weren't there before i started did i do the right choice did i mess my skin up worse can get laser to help with discoloration and like scarring and stuff like that i was asking her about it because you know when you're on accutane you can't wax your face you can't get laser it doesn't matter if it's on your legs your arms entire body the sunburn i become a lobster if i am not applying every hour i would say before too i was an oil slob mess i would bring beauty blenders to the club bring the beauty blender to parties everywhere i go it would be in my little bag now i can put on makeup i'm not i don't even have to touch up once I did want to you know kind of consider getting the laser but talking to her she's like you know i just don't think you're gonna need to do that you know if you want to you could it, it fades out after you know you're off of it it kind of it starts to heal itself i feel like i've now figured out a skincare routine for me for the morning and the nighttime that really has helped my skin tremendously i can go outside without makeup on and feel confident in myself and that's really all that matters and when i'm doing my makeup now it's like oh my god like i don't have to wear as much foundation i don't have to do as much and that makes me happy because i'm just lazy sometimes once it comes to that i got really emotional when leaving the dermatologist yesterday for the last time because I'm just so happy it's over oh, stop crying Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I have eyelash extensions on. I, why am I so emotional over this? I just left my last dermatologist appointment and I'm sorry I keep crying. I'm just really emotional because I'm so happy. I'm so glad that it's over. During like the length of being on Accutane, it was really hard for my confidence. I like would look in the mirror and start crying to myself. I literally hated the way I looked and I grew up never having acne. When I got on it, it got really bad. I would look at myself 
myself and it hurt not only like mentally did it hurt me to see myself like that but physically it hurt so bad i love to make youtube videos and even that like it really i would struggle to turn on the camera because i would have to look at myself and i would have to like edit and stare at myself and now i look back at photos and i'm like holy sh like my skin i know is not perfect right now it's really red because i'm crying marks here but she said that they're all gonna go away in like probably six months even like on a daily basis i can see improvement i just feel so happy to be confident in my skin because honestly like i never feel that way and i think i'm just emotional because she was such a great doctor and i'm just so glad to be closing this chapter because it sucked i'm a different person like i can see even like in those videos i look dead behind the eyes because i wasn't confident in myself and not saying like i'm it, like blah, ha, 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 now I, I have some confidence now feel the way i was before and put on makeup and there's not a million bumps and like if you struggle with acne i think you get it because it's just like, so hard and you know what you always see these people on instagram and these models and even if it's photoshop when you first see a photo like your brain isn't like oh that's photoshop i'm like oh my god like comparing myself for anyone who struggles with acne like i literally understand you more than anybody like seriously and i wish you nothing but the best in your journey and i hope that everybody can get to that point of feeling you know confident and like good in their own skin because i know that's really a hard point to get to i needed to document this because you know i've been documenting this whole journey and i just got really emotional gone on this huge transformation journey and i feel like i'm finally back to who i was and i feel like i can have my personality back and people are looking at me for who i am not look at angelina all that acne on her face you know, i'll take pictures of myself and i would see like the huge butt pimples and i'm like oh god like i don't want to post that i remember i went to the lakes with my friends and all i could think was oh my god like look at me I love to document me and my friends because it's like a time capsule for me. It's like a family video, but I'm like, I don't want to see myself like that. Look back on this and not even remember the good time. I All I'm going to think about is, oh my God, look at my skin. Like, I really hope at the end of the day that you guys feel good about yourself. And that's all that really matters, you know? I know everybody's journey is different. So what works for me might not work for you, but I just really wish nothing of but the best for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned a little bit. Or if you're thinking about going on Accutane, I hope this helps clear some answers up for you. That's really why I'm doing this. I'm not one to usually post like vulnerable videos, serious videos, but I just thought that this needed to be done because one, I wanted to show my progress and my journey. I share pretty much everything with you guys, but I don't usually like show photos like this, you know, or videos like this of me at my like lowest state. Even if it just only helps one person, like that's one person. Thank you guys so much for everything. I can't believe we're gonna hit 7K soon. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I love you guys so much a lot more videos planned for you guys and i'm really excited and i just love you thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye